Hey, this is Bastion with another Assassin's Creed Unity Challenge Guide. Today we're doing Sequence 9, Memory 3, The Escape. You need to keep up with the whatever it's called in French, can't pronounce it, the uh, air balloon, and you need to avoid touching the ground. Now that's after you've released it, you take this lift up, there'll be another instance where there's a cutscene and you're on the ground and you'll end up right next to a lift. Those are two exceptions to the touch the ground rule. Follow the route that I take and with a couple of exceptions that might make it a little bit easier and you should be able to get through with no real problem. Um, the big key is knowing how to do the free running just like in mission 9-1. You really need to know the difference between holding right trigger, between holding right trigger in A, and between holding right trigger in B. Um, most of the time you'll be able to get with right, holding right trigger. On climbs like this, you'll want to do right trigger in A. Um, you want to assassinate these guards along the way so they don't uh, damage Elise in the air balloon. But most of the time you're going to be holding right trigger. Right here, this is all right trigger. But right here, I do right trigger in A to try and make that jump. If you, you By this point in the game, you should understand um, when you're going to need to hold right trigger in A in order to make a jump, and when you won't. Now there's a couple of instances where I kind of take a wrong turn. Um, and have to go back and correct myself. This is kind of one of them. I should have stayed up higher. I got lucky and I land on that little outcropping. Um, you don't have to stay too close in order to get the keeping up with the air balloon objective. You can see right here I get kind of hung up on the parkour and have to do a wall eject in order to keep going. Um, but really it's not that bad. It's pretty far from me right now. It's probably the farthest that it gets in the mission, but I managed to keep it going. So that's not the right way to go. Go left right up here and up the wall. Go up and across. There's some more climbing up there. Kind of want to follow the lifts. There's a lot of lifts in this mission that you'll see that are glowing orange, or gold rather. And that will give you a clue as to the path that you should follow. Because those are placed there so that if you do fall down on the ground, you'll have a quick way up so that you can continue on the mission. Right here you want to follow this cable on the right hand side across the street. Make your way up again. Just follow the cranes as you go along, and you should be able to do it without any real hitches in the plan. Right here is where I make the big mistake. You don't want to cross over to the right here. You want to stay on the left, as that will help you get there a lot faster and a lot smoother, and I realize that as I get there. And luckily, I managed to jump across this beam and continue on. Now, I've just come to the first of two stopping points really in the mission. The rope has gotten caught on the on the top of the building. If I get lucky and I don't have to catch up, I can just go and move along at my own pace, come along on this cable which comes right up to the church, you climb up, and there's a cutscene which I've skipped for your viewing pleasure, um, so that you can just focus on the guide. Uh, and then once you've cut that you'll be back down on the ground with another lift. Once you ride the lift up, You'll need to stay on the rooftops again in order to complete the challenge. And just really just do your best to keep up. Um, work on your parkour as you go, and it should be straightforward enough. There you go, just take the lift up. Again, that didn't count as being on the ground. You just make your way along. Eventually, you're going to come to a point not too far from here where um, you're going to have a green objective marker that shows up and says go. And that's the end of the mission. It'll bring you to the end of a beam. And you really want to get to that beam. Right here's one of the trickier parts. What you want to do is pass through the buildings as it is faster than climbing up and over them. Again, this is probably the simplest mission in this uh, memory sequence. I felt like a 9-1 and 9-2 were both a little bit on the tricky side. This one's just a s simple, straightforward mission. Also, possibly one of the tenderest missions in the game. Um, if you like the story, that is. If you're not into the romance story, then I'm sorry for you. Anyway, coming up to the end of the guide here, we've got this beam right up at the end of the roof, or on this next roof, I guess. And as you get that, you'll be able to unlock both the challenges. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more great Assassin's Creed guides. And as always, remember just to have fun.